How do we feel, uh, Luke, about Oregon at four? I think this was the easiest move for the committee because they can, even if the committee, and I don't know how Des feels, I believe that Ohio State is the more talented team. I know who won the head-to-head. -head. Even if the committee believes that or believes that that will be true down the stretch, right now for the first release, deferring to head-to-head -to -head is not only the right move, but it's the most defensible move and it gives the committee the most wiggle room. People fail to realize that while Oregon won that game, all right, Ohio State didn't play like a bunch of chumps. Did you see their offensive output? What they were, It wasn't like they got throttled at home by a poor football team. And so I think this is the one that was the easiest choice to make for the committee. I'm not convinced the committee thinks Oregon's better than Ohio State right now, but the head-to-head -head won out at this time. That may not happen three weeks from now. Yeah, for me, coming into the, the rankings, you know, with all the talk about, you know, where, where they're going to rank Ohio State, where they're going to rank Oregon, who's going to be ahead of who, I thought it was a no-brainer because of the head-to-head, -head, because the games yep. on the field, they must mean something. And every other year, every time you hear the, um, the, the, the analysts trying to split hairs between certain teams, that's one of the points that always comes up if they played each other. You always talk about, okay, but this team won the head-to-head, -head, so you have to give them the nod. Ohio State is a team that on paper you would think that they have much more talent, especially the fact when you consider that Oregon, they've been really, really um, beat up this year. I mean, they got, they've got they missed a lot of starters now because due to injury. So they probably don't have the roster that Ohio State has. But when you look how competitive Ohio State has been against teams that can really put up resistance, Ohio State has not looked great against teams that can put up any sort of resistance. They look, didn't look great against Minnesota. They didn't look great against Oregon. They lost at home. Don't forget, Oregon traveled across country without two of their best players and beat Ohio State convincingly, meaning they controlled the game from the opening kickoff for four quarters. And then last week, again, against Penn State, they did not look great, but they won. Now, you look at the games against, what, Tulsa, Akron, Rutgers, Maryland, Indiana, those are only games that Ohio State actually looked like a great team. So I'm still not convinced that Ohio State is this team that's, you know, a great football team once you put up a formidable opponent in front of them because they just haven't looked that great against guys who can give the resistance so far, Lugs. Well, well, here's the thing, too, Des, that I just I'm fascinated to watch unfold because does anybody trust anybody in the Pac-12? I mean, the bottom line is Oregon's ranked in front of Cincinnati, too. Have you seen the teams that are left on Oregon's schedule? You've got Utah. You've got an up-and-coming Oregon State. You've got Washington uh, yep. this week. You've got Washington State just throttled ASU. Who's to say that yep. Oregon's going to come out of this thing unscathed? So a lot of football to be playing. With the chaos that we've seen, I don't know if I trust anybody to rise to the top of the Pac-12 and stay there from week to week. Well, which is exactly why, with at least these initial rankings, guys, you, you got to trust the head-to-head, -head, at least right this minute. Otherwise, what's the point? You know, why, right. why have a head-to-head -head matchup? Right. That may change, but I, I yep. agree. At least, at least with the first crack at it, come on. I think it was the right thing to do. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.